Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, we're getting a good one today. Shavon Clark and Tommy McCarthy is a fight that I'm actually pretty excited about. We're going to get into it, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single uh, major fight, showing you how to bring down the house and consistently make money on the spot, sport of boxing. Uh, we don't gamble. I use DraftKings as my book. Can't even use DraftKings in Texas. Um, but if you do gamble, there's a lot of money to be made in boxing. The boxing bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do, and I'm going to show you how to consistently make money on this board of boxing. Let's bring down the house together. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, let's get into today's show. That's Stephon Clark <clears throat> and Tommy McCarthy. I, I, I like Siobhan Clark, uh, especially at the cruiserweight division. You know, the cruiserweight division is not typically the most stacked division. I think Clark's a good fighter. Uh, he's got pretty quick reflexes. He's, he's athletic, especially for a guy that size. He moves well. Uh, he's got good volume. He, he stays busy, especially early. He's good, snappy jab. You know, he, his best punch is his jab. He uses it. Uh, you know, he stays in the high guard, so he's responsible that way. He's not super easy to hit or anything like that. He rips off nice combinations. He throws twos and threes. He mixes up head and body really well. Nice movement. Nice little slight head movement to stay offline. You know, he's not a huge mover defensively. He's not a runner or, or, or anything like that. Uh, but he's got slight subtle head movement that can make you miss, that can make you miss, that, that can frustrate uh, you. He seems to have a good gas tank. He doesn't fade. He seems to do his better, better work. Later in the fight, I, I like Javon Clark a lot. Uh, I think this is a guy that could go on and win a world title. Um, he's not there yet. Um, he's just 7 0, five knockouts. Good body puncher, too. He's accurate with his power shots. He's athletic. He can, he can roll with shots. He's good. This is one of the guys from the UK who I, I could see winning a world title. And, you know, the cruiserweight division, like I said, it's not usually the most stacked division. He, he doesn't seem to be a heavyweight. He, I think he fits in well in the cruiserweight division. He's explosive on the inside. He throws nice uppercuts. He works well on the inside. He's athletic on the outside. He jabs. His jabs is his best punch. You know, he keeps the jab pumping, keeps keeps the jab pumping. He's he's a good fighter. So he's, he's got a good guessing. So he, he can win rounds on his jab. He can win rounds on his volume. And he can win rounds on the inside. And, I, you know, we're going to see about his power. His power has held up for him so far. I, I don't think he's got tremendous power, but he's got good enough power, um, especially at the cruiserweight division. At the heavyweight division, it could be a different story. But here, right now, at cruiserweight, it's good. He throws good combinations. He's good. He's quick, good athlete, decent power at least. Maybe better than decent. We're going to see how it holds up, but it's decent to say the least. Defensively responsible. Offensively pretty complete. Combination punching. Works off the jab. Can fight in all three distances. Likes to come forward. Likes to come forward. He's good. I mean, as, as, as an offensive fighter, I, I think there's a lot to like about him. He's got this really good lead left hook, too. Really good lead left hook. I wish he would throw that more because when he throws it, it lands, and it lands well, and it disrupts people because you're not expecting because he's jabbing, jabbing, turning over, throw the hook. He's good with it. I really, I, you know, he's left-hand dominant. You know, he, he's got power in his right hand, and he throws his right hand, but his jab and his lead left hook is really his best work. He also seems freakishly strong. Like, he can use his body to create distance, create separation when he wants to, if you're on him, and he wants to get that left hook in, or he wants to throw one of those, you know, one of those uppercuts or those right hands. He can kind of get you off of him. He, so he seems physically strong at, at, the, at the size, too. There's a lot to like about him. This, this is a good fighter. Tommy McCarthy, on the other hand. Now, I, Tommy McCarthy is, is an enigma to me. He beat Fabio uh, Turque, the Italian fighter, good fighter, beat him. He's, he's been competitive. Uh, Chris Bill Smith, I thought he won the first fight, but either way, he barely lost if he lost like the judges had him, and then he got stopped in the second fight. He, 
there seems to be something like here's my question about we're, we're going to get into what he does well, what he doesn't do well. Here, I, I got basically two questions about Tommy McCarthy. Does he want to still fight? Does he want to win? And can he still do it? He's getting a little older. How old is he now? Tommy McCarthy's getting up there. Let me let me look up his age real quick. He's getting up there. Uh, I'm gonna say he's 33, so he's not super old, but he's like old, like at the point where you're gonna start asking this question: Do you still want to box? He's 33, so he's got time left. He's not super old or anything, but he's not young either. So the question becomes, can he still box, and does he want to? Does he still want to win, or is he just here to collect a, a paycheck? Because he's getting a decent paycheck in this fight. You know, they pay well. He's a name. He's got wins. He's well-known in the cruiserweight division. Does he want to be a stepping stone, or is he, is he going to show up, and he's going to, is he going to fight to win? Because you go back, you look at Tommy McCartney's last fight, he looks fat. He doesn't look like he's in real good shape. I don't think Tommy McCarthy is a terrible fighter. I don't. I'm just wondering at this point, like, has it hit him that, okay, maybe I'm not going to win a world title. Maybe that dream is gone. And I'm just going to kind of get a paycheck, compete, but not really try to win. You know what I'm saying? Like, where is he at his, at this stage? And if he is committed, can he still do it? Because he seems to have had a dramatic decline, sharp, from that first Bill and Smith fight. First, so he beat Fabio Turkey October of 2019. Pandemic hits. He takes a couple two-no fights. He gets the one win over Alexander Jor. Uh, so decent win there. That, that, that sets up the Chris Bill and Smith fight. I had a winning. This is for the... Uh, European Cruiserweight title. I thought he won. It was very close. I thought... And it goes split decision for Bill and Smith. Fine. I'm not complaining about the decision. I thought it should have gone the other way. He comes back. He fights Bill and Smith about seven months later. Gets iced in the eighth round. So that's two losses in a row. He comes back. He picks up a couple wins over nobodies. Then he fights in Poland against Michael Sislak and gets dominated, gets destroyed for the European Cruiserweight title again. Sislak destroys him. That's in November. Not long ago. Now he's coming back. This seems like perfect matchmaking. He's a name. People know him. He's going to give him credit. Is he in this to win or is he in for a paycheck? He's always been sloppy and kind of easy to hit. He's got poor footwork. Like he's not a, a, a technically really good fighter. He's super easy to counter. You know, he does some things well, but like, and I don't think he's a terrible fighter. I think he's a decent fighter. Like he's got good wins. He's shown skills and he's shown stuff in the past that make you think that he can do this. If like if he wants to fight. I still think Clark's going to win no matter what. But, because I think Clark's really good. But this will be the biggest test Clark's taken by a mile. And, like, this is going to be a good fight if Tommy McCarthy decides he wants to fight. If, if not, Clark's just going to steamroll him and get a knockout. And it's on short notice, like, not short, short notice, but it's a quick turnaround. That's what I'm trying to say for McCarthy. I'm not sure that he's taking this seriously. I can't say that. We're going to find out on what day is the fight, uh, January 27th, so it's about a week away. So I'll show you the odds. Let's let's pull up the odds real quick. All right. You guys got this? Just the money line. There's no props. I would probably take Clark by stoppage because I, again, but I'm, I'm glad they're not because if McCarthy comes to fight, he can make this thing really interesting. But I, I don't think that at this stage of his career, especially just two months 
off the, the stop. So he's really – but we don't know. Like, if McCarthy comes to fight, it's going to be a good fight. But it's just the money line. It's minus 425. I'm, I, like I said, I really like Clark. I'm really confident with Clark. So win, so I'm going to make a two-times bet. So a $200 bet makes us uh, $47. That's what we have on this fight. Not not bringing down a house. We're not making a killing on this fight. But I, I did this because I, I want you guys to watch Clark. I think Clark's a really good – Cruise away, and if McCarthy wants to make this a fight, he can. We're gonna find out if he wants. I think, right? Like I said, McCarthy kind of looks fat in this last fight. He doesn't look in shape. Is this really what he still wants to do? If it is, can he still do what he used to do? Is he still capable of that? If he is, if he wants to, and he's still capable of that, this can be a competitive fight. But either way, I'm taking Clark to win because I think Clark is really, really good. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the boxing book in all forms of social media at 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick, uh, the boxing book comes at you for every major fight. Show you how to bring down a house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, it is January 20th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.